Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith Day One. And first and foremost, Happy New Year. Uh, guys, we are we, we had an incredible 2018 uh, with the Faith Box community. We're super excited about 2019 and what it's going to hold. We have a lot of our themes picked out already, and it's going to be a fun journey. You don't want to miss out. Uh, uh, the products and our procurement team have done an incredible job making some super, super amazing boxes for you guys through 2019. And we're just thankful for you guys. We're thankful because without y'all, there is no faith box. So thank you for being a part of the community. And I'm excited to grow with you guys through 2019. That being said, our theme or journey this month is money. Some of y'all were probably opened your box and said, uh-oh. This is a tough one. Some of y'all probably opened your box and said, man, I, I've got a good grasp on that. Some of you probably opened your box and said, oh man, I wonder where this is gonna go. Uh, but I'm excited to, to be on this journey with you guys because money is something that affects us all in one way, shape, or form. Uh, and um, let's, let's just dive in and let's grow through this together. So I'm gonna read the introduction first because this is important. It says, welcome to the new month of everyday faith with your friends at Faithbox. This month we have a very important and very personable theme, or personal theme, money. Let's be honest for a moment and acknowledge the fact that nobody would be mad if they had just a little more money sitting in their bank account than they currently do. Money is something we all need, it's something most of us want more of, and it's critical in helping us live the lives we can enjoy. While having money is not everything, not having it can be. While money, can't, money alone can't fulfill or satisfy, not having money can create immense amounts of pressure, stress, fear, and worry. That's why it's so easy to be consumed with money. Not how much we have, how, how to get more of it. I'm sorry. That's why it's so easy to be consumed with money. How much we have, how to get more of it, and what we do with it. It's also why it's very easy to be turned off or offended when other people tell you what to do with your money. Because money is near and dear to us, God actually has a lot of instruction on how it affects us and what to do with money. And through this, it may be a surprise. The Bible actually contains over 2,300 verses that deal with money, wealth, and possessions. So it is clear this is a very significant topic. As we begin this journey, we want to encourage you to press into the devotions and leverage the resources provided to you to help you take the steps forward in this area of finances and of faith. So that's the intro. So let's do day one. Uh, this is Jesus speaking. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. That's Matthew 6, 21. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. And if you continue to read, it says, if there's any doubt about whether money and what you do with it is connected to faith and spirituality, Jesus certainly put an end to it. To Jesus, it was clear that money has an absolute connection to faith and spirituality. In fact, about 15% of Jesus' preaching centered on money and possessions, as did 11 of his 39 parables making it his most talked about topic. That's really interesting. And if it mattered to Jesus, then it should matter to us as well. Jesus wants his followers to live with a proper perspective and attitude toward money. It's easy for us to become consumed or concerned about our next paycheck and all the things we need to pay for or the things we want to buy. Even when it's not about making a purchase, we can get wrapped up in what or how much we accumulate. As we begin this month's journey, we want to invite you to consider Jesus' words. Consider where your treasure actually is and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to both greater surrender and greater, greater freedom in the area of money. As I'm reading this, I'm thinking if this, is, this just shows you um, how we live. As I'm reading this, I'm thinking, okay, I need to make sure I pay rent today. I need to make sure I uh, get my, my credit card paid. I need, like, I'm thinking these things that I need to make sure I do um, and it kind of consumes you. It's easy, to be con it's easy to become consumed or concerned about our next paycheck and all the things we need to pay for when it comes. Even if it's not about making a purchase, we can get wrapped up in what or how much we accumulate. So I think that the end here is perfect. Consider where your treasure actually is and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to both greater surrender 
and greater freedom in the area of money, area of money. and that's going to be the challenge and the goal this month. Greater freedom, greater surrender in the area of money. Guys, it's going to be a, a, a hard topic. It's going to be a um, it's going to be a struggle to get through it for some of us, but it is so 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 stinking important as it states here in the passage. Guys, be blessed. Have an incredible, incredible New Year's Day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.